Hey you guys, it's your boy Odin from Host.Promo. Promo. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can run a Python file and give it input, okay, in the Atom editor. And if you don't already know, I have a channel and I have the number one video on how to run Python code in Atom. However, a lot of people were complaining. You can see the top comment right here. It doesn't support the input command. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to go ahead and go to edit and we're going to click preferences or we could do control comma. And once we're here, we're gonna go down to the install tab in the sidebar menu, and we're gonna search Atom Python Run, okay? Uh, because before, we showed you guys how to do it with the script plugin, but that doesn't take input, so we're gonna use this plugin. It's created by Foreshadow. We're gonna go ahead and click install. It takes a few seconds to install. The plugin is now installed, and I just want to show you guys something really quick. Uh, if we go down here, you can see I have the script command, which helps you run code in Atom. So let me just go ahead and show you the problem with that. So if we do Control Shift P, we can type in script and we can click run. But you see right here, it just says enter your name. It doesn't allow us to put the input. I think if we click this, it will let us do a new tab. So that's all it did, but that's a problem because we want to do the input. So that's why I had you guys download that other plugin, the Atom Python Run. And to activate that plugin, all you need to do is hit the function key, which usually is typed FN and then F5 on your computer, okay? And that is going to pop open a terminal. And now you guys can see it says enter your name. We need to put the name inside of quotes, otherwise it won't work because it's a string. And now we have quote, Odin, quote, and we're gonna hit enter, and you can see it says hello, Odin. So that, my friends, is how you run a Python file with input. I really hope you guys found this video helpful.